Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of the Little Craft Fairy. I uh, just wanted to do a um, tutorial here on using Easy Subly. Um, I've already cut out my Easy Subly and put it down. Now, I know a lot of people do a direct print um, on the Easy Subly and then have their cutting machine cut it out with the actual image already printed on. I've done that for some strange reason. I find the color more vibrant when I sublimate the actual easy subly as opposed to printing. And then, yes, you are subbing because you will ap apply the um, the heat, but I actually press and then sub on top. Now, I know it's a bit more complex. There's that extra step, but I just find the um, end result is a little bit better. And this is why I do it this way. Um, so I'm just going to show you a little trick uh, to make life a little bit easier if you do decide to do this method. So I've already have my Easy Subly cut and it's pressed on. We cut it. I use a Cricut cutting machine to cut. I've actually done an offset for my Easy Subly because I wanted in a white outline. Um, and I've printed my images. Here's my image. Now the biggest problem probably most people encounter in terms of doing it this way is lining up your images with your actual Easy Subly either offset or if you want to get it bang on that's really hard um, so I have a little bit of a trick that I can try I'm going to show you so here's my print for the other one I have my press set at 390 now to put the easy subly on I had it set at 311 and press for only about five to ten seconds um, so what I'm going to do is um, get everything all lined up and what I do to do that is I actually use a light pad so you'll see I have my light pad um, ready and then what you're going to do is I know it's going to be a bit trickier with um, larger shirts um, smaller shirts easy because it's a perfect size um, and then what I'm going to do is turn off the lights to get it to be a little bit easier for me to see echo turn off back lights and you'll see okay. how it stands out a lot better um, okay so what I'm going to do is I will actually press, you can actually see where I went over another image there, but you can't see it when the lights are on. So here's my uh, image. I'm going to put it over and try to line everything up. Um, I don't know if you can actually see how it's a lot easier to see um, when it's dark. And to line up your images. A lot, definitely a lot easier because I have been doing this blindly in the past and I said there's got to be an easier way to do this <laughs> so I said let's try it this way and so it's my first time doing this but lining it up so far has been a lot easier than trying to guess like I would have had to and what I've done in the past um, really particular about lining it up you know line everything up and I'll press it for you and show you. Okay, as you can see, I've got it all kind of taped up. Um, so what I'm going to do is press it. Now I'm actually going to be using a Cricut Easy Press just because I'm a little lazy tonight. And I know my, I, ha I do have actually two presses, um, regular presses, a 16 by 24 and a uh, 15 by 15, but they do take quite some time to heat up. So I mean, I'm just doing this shirt for my son, so I just want to quickly do it. So I'm going to press that for you, and away we go. Okay, so now this is what it looks like all uh, taped up. I'm just going to actually put my parchment paper or butcher paper over there and do my pressing. I'm going to do it in sections, actually. I'm going to do this section first. Okay. Okay, we're just about done. My second one. I know everybody's probably like, oh no, there's all these lines and this and that, but let's grab this and see what we can do in terms of getting that to roll out. Okay, so I'll 
probably do is iron the back a little bit to kind of get it all to turn my temp down a bit. So I don't want it to sub, but I still want it warm enough to um, get rid of that line. So we're going to do that. Okay, so here we have it. Now I do have a little bit of an outline um, around where I subbed. Usually that disappears after I've thrown it in the wash. Um, if it doesn't, um, this is actually my first shirt from the dollar store that I'm trying out. Um, it's polyester. Um, so it was just like an experiment to see how this shirt takes. So we'll see. Throw it in the wash, see what happens. Hopefully that line disappears. If not, I'll just have to kind of iron it out. But like I said, this was just a sample to kind of show you how to do the easy subly in the um, easy subly and then sublimation after that method. Okay, thank you for watching.